from the Department of Plant Pathology at The Ohio State University. I'm with Karen and Amber who are studying plant diseases here. So Karen and Amber, what are you studying? Uh, well, on this lab desk we just have a uh, few fungal cultures from class. So what do you study here? We study fungi, bacteria, and viruses. Oh my! Why do you study these? Uh, fungi, bacteria, and viruses can all cause serious plant diseases. Wow, these are pretty gross. What's this? This is a potato inoculated with Arrhenia carcinopavra, which is a bacteria. Gross. It's Ew! What about this one? Well, this is a serious uh, pathogen of plants called botrytis. So what is this? This is Dutch elm disease. We cultured this off of plant tissue to study the biology and control of Dutch elm disease, which is wiping out our elm trees. I thought fungi were mushrooms. Not all fungi are mushrooms you can eat. Some are edible, some cause human diseases, and some cause plant diseases. Who eats fungi? That sounds gross. Maybe a plant doctor will know. I'm with Dr. Rose from the Department of Plant Pathology at the Ohio State University, and he's going to tell us a little bit about edible fungi. Well, we have some examples here of some of the common and some of the somewhat exotic fungi that are available now in the grocery stores. It hasn't been too many years ago that, that all you could get in the typical supermarket was the common button mushroom, a white mushroom, uh, which is agaricus bisporus, some call it agaricus brunescens, uh, which is a domestic version of the wild agaricus campestris, or the meadow mushroom. Different types of edible fungi are used in Asian and European cuisine. These might include enoki, king oyster, and beach mushrooms. Just a word of caution, you should always know what it is that you have, two species, before you think about eating them. Uh, many mushrooms that you find in the wild are poisonous, and some of them are actually deadly poisonous. So uh, be very careful. Uh, if you don't know mushrooms down to species, then you should have them identified by someone who uh, is an expert, or at least considers themselves an expert. Uh, even then, you might want to think twice. Uh, we always say that it's a good idea to wash them carefully. Probably the most dangerous aspect of eating mushrooms in the wild is the fact that uh, they may be contaminated with various kinds of bacteria, like salmonella, uh, even E. coli for some of those mushrooms which uh, grow on dung in the wild. Some mushrooms are edible fungi, but another fungus we eat is something called corn smut. Well, we have here some examples of corn smut. Corn smut is a fungus which attacks the corn plant. It can attack the inflorescences, that's the part of the plant that where the flowers occur. Uh, it can attack the stalks. Usually it's found on the ears, which is the female part of the plant, and that's the grain. We're all familiar with these. And for the dirty part, masses of spores are dark. Uh, they're somewhat oily, oily excuse me, and uh, uh, they uh, look like this. Uh, and the word smut actually comes from German schmutzig, which means dirty or filthy. And you can see that uh, if you went through uh, too much corn smut, that you would in fact become filthy. Corn smut is considered a delicacy to some people and can be used to make soups, gravies, and other dishes. But try at your own risk. We study plant diseases that are gross and some that are not so gross and even some that we eat. Just look in your refrigerator.